We're here at the British Museum for Trading Floor's trading debates, looking at the future of trading. The great and the good of the trading and investing world are here. So what do they think the future of trading will look like? Well, hopefully, in a sane world, in a world in which common sense and sensible ideas prevail, we should be looking forward to a world in which considerably more trade happens. In fact, in which individuals are able to, uh, from their own living room, be quite common to make trades right across the globe at the flick of a switch. That's what happens in a sane world. Free trade wins. My only worry would be this, whether actually the forces of protectionism and rather anti-trade forces are beginning to get on the march. Well, if I'm thinking about my two children, you know, I hope that in the future they will be able to trade direct and they will have a much greater level of control over their personal finances and their, and their, um, and their pensions. But like I said, we're not there yet and you know, there is a big gap. So I think in the interim there has to be much more education. People are far more on social media now than ever before. We've seen an explosive growth in usage of these vehicles and I think it's obvious therefore that uh, you're going to see more people still using these kinds of tools in their trading and I think new tools will be developed. I think that's one of the areas that's going to continue growing uh, for all the companies that operate in this arena. I think social trading and the fact that there will be more things to trade uh, in, in this kind of interconnected networked future is a big positive and, um, and there's kind of an overlap as well. I, I'm not sure how it's going to pan out but there's kind of an overlap with trading as entertainment, which I don't completely understand. Innovation and trading is really uh, amazing at the moment, um, but I also think it's slightly cannibalistic and there might be some unexpected feedback loops because when there is something called the uh, Stiglitz paradox, which is when you get too much information, it actually stops motivating uh, the you know, allocation decisions uh, in and of themselves. There's no in interest in gaining information if the information is everywhere else. It leads to a stagnant uh, economy very often. I think what's exciting about uh, trading floor um, and social media coming into capital markets and trading is that instead of having you know a thousand or ten thousand traders around the world um, having access to that community, now you know anyone who's interested can become part of that community and out of that sort of the wisdom of crowds you find you know some of the best traders in the world.